Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, and thank you so much for tuning in. A new distribution schedule was announced by Yieldmax ETFs. Actually, it was announced last week. On a new distribution schedule, YMAX and YMAG will be paying weekly distribution, and all the other ETF has been staggered around on a weekly basis. So if you look over here on the schedule, every Wednesday, distribution amount will be announced and every Friday you will be getting paid. Now, if you look at it, it seems so fascinating, right? I mean, say every Friday you're getting paid, you just get paid on the Friday, you, you hop into the another one, and Wednesday distribution get announced, you, you get paid on Friday, you hop into another one, and you hop into another one. So what it does is it actually encourages the behavior of flipping around. Now, the question is, is this the best strategy? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to see, okay, you know, when you invest in yield max ETF, different strategy can be used. First one is you can buy it and hold it. Just bought it and it stay there for a longer period of time. Now you're getting distribution every month. Now look, you have to make a decision. Should you reinvest the dividend amount that you got paid or you just cash out and enjoy the cash? And the third option is the one that is the new one. You just keep flipping it around monthly and weekly flip. Now the question is, what is the best strategy? The best strategy is the one that makes you the most money. So in this video, what I'm going to do is perform a detailed mathematical analysis of this strategy and see which one really pay the best return. You know, math and the number never lies. So it will be nothing, just pure math, just pure mathematics. So I'll be focusing on these two, YMAX and YMAG. These are the two that is the converted to weekly. So it's a good time to take a look at it and see it's really worth it to just flipping it around on a weekly and monthly basis. Or should I just buy it and hold it? Which one of these make the most money? So before I go into the detail of the video, just one request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I'm on a mission to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So I need your support. And I can't do it without you. So please subscribe, share, like, comment. One more thing. I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician by profession. So what I will be doing in this video is performing a detailed mathematical analysis of each strategy and do calculation. Just math, pure math. No personal opinion, no graph, no chart. Just a simple one plus one math. That is all I will be doing it. So let's get it started. So if you look over here on the yield max side, go to yield max ETF website, going over here. So let's see how I, since I will be focusing on YMAX and YMAG, so let's take a look at it. So this is YMAX, so let's click on this. So it has all the fun details, right? I mean, by looking at it, I'll come to this in a second. Okay, the fun is started in January 16 of this year, right? No, I'm not going to go into the detail of that, you know, what this fund consists of and how it gets invested. You can go to the website and take a look at it. I will just be focusing on the strategy. That is it buy and hold better strategy or just flipping it around on weekly and monthly basis is the best strategy. So if you look on this, okay, this is the distribution that was paid on a monthly basis so far, right? I mean, 214 is the date that distribution was announced. 220 is the date that was paid. And the same over here, March 13, distribution was announced. And then March 18, payment was made. The same thing goes on for the YMAG. So here's what I'm going to do. I will transfer this data. I will cut and paste I'll, from here and move it into the Google. Especially let's do this. So now here it is. So for the sake of demonstration, let us start with $5,000. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invest $5,000 into this one YMAX. Now, as I just showed you over here, the fund was started on 116 2024 and the first dividend was paid on 2 2024. So here's what I'm going to do. So let's do this. The fund started on January 16. So the, let's take a look at it and see what the price of that ETF was on January 16, 2024. Let's go to the Google. Google, I like Google because one of the reasons is that it gives me the historical data, right? I don't need to go to the graph and take a look at it. I can just read it over here. So going over here, so the first day of the trading for this was January 17, and the closing price was $19.90. So here's what I'm going to do. 
So $19.90 is the price of that. Right? Since I invested $5,000 over here, so what that, that mean is, let's do this. If I invest $5,000 and the price of the stock is $19.90, it gives me 251.26 ETF of YMAX. I do know we don't in, buy it in fraction, but for the sake of simplicity, I will leave it over here. You can make it 251, you can make it 252. Your, your, your choice, you, you do whatever you feel like doing it. No. So January 16, when the fund is started, the price of the stock was $19.90, and I bought 251.26 YMAX. Now, the last distribution, right? I mean, I showed you over here, the last distribution was paid on 920. Now, since we are looking at the strategy of buy and hold, right? So, so we bought it on the day, the fund is started, and we still have it in an account, right? So 9-20-2024, so going over here, September 2024, let's take a look at it, what the stock price was. Going over here, September 2024, 2024, the stock price was $17.64, right? $17.64. Now, I have 251.26 in my account, and the price of the stock as of today, or the Friday, was $17.64. So what is the total value of the stock I have? 1764 multiplied with whatever I have over here. I know it's not an Excel class, but I just want to do it. If you want to do it at home and learn about it, you know, you can utilize that. So the value of the stock right now is 4,432. I invested $5,000 and right now it's only what 4,432. But since I bought this on this, uh, the day of start, and I still have it in my account, so every month, right? February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. I've been getting paid this dividend, right? So I took all this over here. Okay, see? February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So if you're looking at the total value of dividend that I got paid over here, $4, if I add all of this together, $4.67. So each one of these share paid me $4.67, right? So now, how much dividend I earn, right? $4.67 per one share, and then $251.26. $1,173. So, the value of YMAX as of today is 4,432. And since I invested 5,000 at the beginning of the fund, which is 116, I earn $1,173 as dividend. So what is the total value I have? The stock value plus the dividend I earn, right? $5,655.53. So $5,000 that I invested at the beginning of the fund is worth $5,600 as of today. That means I made $605, which is actually 12% gain, right? So if you buy it and hold it, you made 12% on it. Now, let's take an example of this. See, okay, instead of buying and holding it, you are very excited about the new schedule and you want to be a flipper. You want to invest, you know, every month, just, just buy it and sell it, collect the dividend and then move on. So here's a look at this, right? So what we're going to do is, you see this? No, distribution was announced on 214, right? So what are we going to do over here is we will buy it a day before distribution is announced and sell it on a day distribution is made. So what that means is distribution was announced on 214, we will buy it on 213. Distribution was announced on March 13, we'll buy it on March 12. So we'll buy it a day before that and we'll see it on the date of the dividend. So in this case, since you're flipping it around, we're just buying it and selling it. So we will only get the distribution for that particular month or week, whatever you want to call it. There's not enough weekly data to do the analysis, but here it is. So let's take a look at it. Let's suppose the first one was 214. So we bought it on 213, right? We bought it on 213. Let's take a look at it. What the price of YMAX was on 213. The price of YMAX on February 13 was, yeah, let's look at this. February 13 was $20.57, right? $20.57. So $20.57, we bought it. Now, how much dividend we got paid on that month? 53 cents, right? 53 cents dividend we got paid. Now, dividend got paid on 220. So we are be selling it on 220, right? So let's take a look at it. what the price of this was on 220. 220, February 20 is yeah, 2020, right? 2020, what a number. Okay, 2020, right? So now, so let's take a look at what happened. We sold it at 2020. We earned 53 cents dividend. That's the total value of the investment you have. But we paid this much so in reality we made like 16 cents per share right so since how much since we invested five thousand dollars and the price of this was this much so we invest, we bought 243 of this share 16 cents per 
And so we only made like $39, right? You multiply this with this, we got $39. So if we flip it around on the month of February, we make $39, 84, okay? So I'm not gonna go through the detail for every single one of them, but let's take a look at next month, right? Let, on the next month, just following the same step as I did for February, let's do the same thing for March. We made, we've lost actually 14 cents, right? Yeah, we got paid, we got paid 57 cent dividend, but the stock price was $21.16, and so we lost actually 14 cents. So if the same thing, if we just flip it around the month of March, we lost money. Let's take a look at the right? Like, we lost quite a bit of those. Same thing on, on this one. So you know how to get the numbers. So just follow the, exactly the same process that I did for the month of February, right? I don't want to go through every single one of them in detail and, because then you're going to get bored of it, right? So I'm just showing you how these calculations are done so you can make the most of it. And you can make a decision, right? What I'm trying to do is provide you an extra set of data to make it easy for you to make a decision, right? So what I'm doing is I'm doing it for each month. Right? I'm just doing the same process step, taking a look at it, okay, what the dividend was paid on that particular month and how much the stock price was and what the, the, so if you really look at it, so if you've been flipping around every month, yeah, some month you make money, some month you lose money, but overall you only make like $42.37. But if you buy it and hold it, you would make 12% gain. Now, let's take one more scenario. Some of us think we are too smart. We are just, we are, we just rock. We always buy at the lowest price of the month and we sell at the highest. Okay, let's see you are the, those smartest cookie. So here's what I'm going to do. On the month of, right, August, distribution was on 813. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at after the month of August and see what was the lowest price. If we are one of the best, we're the best. So I went back and look at this from the month of August till September and take a look at every single one of you. You see this September 6 is the lowest price, the lowest, 1671. So let's suppose we are the luckiest one. We bought at the lowest price of the month. So if we bought it at the lowest price of the month, right, 1671, right? We bought a 96 because at the low of the month, we are lucky enough. And the dividend that we got paid was 23 cents, right? And the price as of Friday was 17.64, so we make $1.16. So if we are the smartest plant person, I don't think there's anyone that can pick at the lowest all the time and sell it. You just can't. If you are, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. You should be a billionaire sitting somewhere in Hawaii. But anyhow, if in that best case scenario, you make only 6.9% per month, and that, that's pretty good actually. If you can, if you have the ability to pick the lowest price month after month, then man, then you should be flipping it around. If not, then I will not, you know, approve or, well, approve probably is the wrong word. I probably would not uh, go for those monthly flipping strategy for myself. You know, you can do whatever you feel like, like doing it. So I hope I make it very clear. So let's take a look at the same thing for the another one, YMAG, right? So the same strategy for YMAG, I am not going to go to the in detail. The fund was started in January 29, right? And the price was 1989. So on the, if we hold it till the month, the whole month, you know, we, we actually made like a, almost like 18% return. But instead of that, if we decided to flip it around, let's flip it around like, like all every month. So, so let's look at this one. So let's, so if you look at it, yeah, some month you make money, some month you lose money, but overall you are in a loss. So if you buy it and hold it, you your rate of return will be a lot higher than just flipping it around on a monthly basis. This is the same exercise that I did. Let's suppose you are the you have the ability to pick the lowest price of the month. And if you have that ability, then the flipping is the best thing for you. And I like to learn it from you, but I'm not that lucky. I just cannot pick the lowest price all the time. Yeah, once in a while I get lucky, but that's not I pay attention to what I do is I try to focus on study. I try to see that, okay, if I have all this strategy, which is the best way to make the most of it? And that is all I'm trying to do in this video. I'm analyzing every single strategy and see which one of this make the most money. So as you can see on YMAG, if you buy and hold, you will gain a lot more, right? The return is like 18.7%. If you flip around every month, right? I mean, see, most of the time, yeah, you make money very little and you keep losing money little, little, little too. But overall, you don't make anything. Same on YMAX. If you buy and hold, the return is in double digit, 12%. But if you just keep flipping month after month, or in, in according to new schedule, if you keep flipping week after week, trust me, you will not make more. So, I mean, as I said before, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm not going to tell you what to do, what when to sell, when to buy. I just do mathematical analysis. I have all this strategy. I just 
do the mathematical analysis, look at it and see which one make most money. You make your own decision. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please share, subscribe, like, comment. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon with some another video. Thank you and have a wonderful day.